about the previous life. It was then published uh, a few days later. And uh, this newspaper has a distribution all over the country. For the journalist, it was a good story. I consider this case unique because for over 30 years I've researched these types of stories and have come across various people who talked about their previous births. But this one is one in a thousand. His readers were enthralled with Delucci's mysterious memories and the remarkable details she remembered. But for now, one question remains unanswered. Will the scientists find a match to Delucci's memories of an earlier life and death? A newspaper journalist had written an article about Delucci's memories of a past life. The article mentioned that the girl thinks she used to live near the Dambula Rock Temple. Several weeks after the article was published, the mail arrives at the Nisanka home. When the postman handed Mr. Nisanka his mail that day, he was surprised to find one letter postmarked from Dambula. He had no friends or relatives in that part of the country. When he opened the letter, he was stunned. I was very surprised to receive a letter by a Mr. Ranatunga. He lives in Dambula. I was stunned when I read that his little daughter had died just the way Delukshi had always talked about. He talked about the river and the footbridge. His little girl was called Shiromi. Shiromi's father confirmed many of Delukshi's statements, and he said he would like to meet her. I missed my previous parents very much, and I longed to see them again. After this letter, my second mother was finally convinced, and she agreed we would go and meet with them. There was nothing her current parents could do. Delucci was now determined to meet the people who she believed were her true family. If they would not take her to them, she threatened to run away. The letter finally convinced Delucci's parents. They were going to take her to the place where she thinks she died. They took Delucci on a six-hour drive to Dambula. When they came closer to the city, Delucci began to recognize landmarks. She even started to direct the driver toward the house where her previous family lived. Even today, after several meetings, it is still a moving reunion. For Professor Haraldson, a rare opportunity to witness what could be two lives intersecting. This meeting is quite emotional. It's only about uh, in a third of all cases in Sri Lanka that you were able to find a connection between what, what that child is saying and a previous family or a person who died that fits the description. This is very rare. Professor Haraldson is astounded by the change in character. As soon as Delucci meets her previous family, she is less withdrawn and seems to fit in much more naturally with this family. Could she really be this little girl, reborn? Shiromi was a very obedient girl who never left the house without informing us where she was going. 
She always left the house with her younger brother and her sister to swim or to play. And one day she just did not come back. I was so upset that Shiromi hadn't returned home that I ran about looking for her. When they found her in the water, I fainted upon hearing I'd lost my daughter. When Delukshi was brought here, she was able to recognize us as her previous parents. She was also able to recognize her old belongings and the neighbors who lived nearby. All of this convinced me she was my child reborn. I know I am that little girl over there in that picture. When I saw my previous parents and previous brother and sister, I felt very happy. It felt like I was finally returning home after a very long time away. At the end of the day, Delukshi takes Professor Haraldson for a walk to show him the sights of her previous life. When we compare how well these statements fit the life of Shiromi, we find that about 12 of them, and we have around 20, about 12 of them fit really well and are fairly specific. Delucci leads Professor Harold's into the rock, where she claimed she played as little Shiromi. It is a flat rock formation, just as she had described. The footbridge over the little river. And this is the spot where Shiromi fell into the water. When I come to this particular spot, I become very afraid. In general, I am not afraid of water. But when I come to this spot, I get very scared. Delucci tells the scientist that she remembers black spots just before she died. Haraldson thinks the water plants growing in the river might account for this. I think there is something real there. She has some real images of these events. But I think these uh, images, these thoughts, were with her from a ver very early age and even continue to some extent up to the present day. Delucci herself is convinced that she died here, in her previous life. For many who evaluate the evidence that Haraldson and his colleagues have gathered, the answer is simple. If you believe in reincarnation, this research gives some scientific basis to this belief. I think there is some likelihood of life after death, and I think that there might be something real in these memories, and that would then support the theory of reincarnation. Mm -hmm.